This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday from the 2015 ACC Women's Tournament. Greensboro, North Carolina, a 20-point win for the Tar Heels from North Carolina, and they are moving on to the quarterfinals. Tom Wormy, Debbie Antonelli, courtside with you here at the Greensboro Coliseum. One name, Stephanie Mavunga. <laughs> Filling up the box score for the Tar Heels. She was a stat stuffer on the right side of the box score tonight. Not just her points and rebounds, but her ability to impact the game around the rim on the defensive end. She was fantastic. She deflected shots. She blocked shots. She got them into their transition game. I was impressed by her ability to score around the rim and her ability to share the basketball and get them in transition. Chelsea Shine caught up with her after the game. Eight blocks in that game, and the thing that's most impressive about your blocks is you block the shot and keep it in play. How are you able to do that? Oh, um, I'm not sure. I guess pra uh, practice, I guess. So practicing over and over and over. And I know if it goes out of bounds, and I, there's like really no point of blocking a shot except for stopping the thing. But I know that if I block it and then we're going to transition, my teammates really get excited about that. And so then it like builds up momentum. And so I try to keep it in bounds. And then when you guys had to lose Zelina McDaniel earlier in the season and had to go to a four guard lineup, you've taken on more of an offensive production role. How important has that been for your team? Um, well, they keep telling me like that they have so much faith in me. You know, that really keeps me going. And, um, you know, with Z out, that was like 13 points and then like about nine boards. And so like I really have to try to make up for that. And um, so uh, I'm like the only like natural post player that's in there. And so like Danielle and India, they're really athletic and they try to play the post down in there, but really they're natural guards at that three. And so um, I'm really happy that they've been, you know, trying to make uh, make it work with the four, but um, I know that I really have to pick it up in there since he's not in there as a big presence to help us out. Great, thank you, Stephanie. Back to you guys. Here is the updated bracket. Stephanie Mavunga, by the way, 23 points, seventh time this season. She's gone for 20 points or more, 24th career double-double. Her team's moving on to take on Louisville Deb, and this is the lineup. Duke and Wake Forest will get us started tomorrow at 11 a.m. This is a big day tomorrow, Tom, because this is where you separate the good teams from the really good teams, okay? Because there are some really good teams that haven't had a chance to show up and play in Greensboro yet. They're going to show up tomorrow. Let's see what kind of game they bring. I'm impressed by Wake Forest. De'Erica Hamby has carried her team to this point where they're going to get another chance to take on the Blue Devils. And I also am impressed by Virginia Tech, a 15 seed, to get two wins here after only one conference win all season to be able to play in advance, survive in advance, and play another day. Yeah, they'll take on the number two seed, Florida State. Those top four seeds get their first taste of the ACC tournament in day three. Sylvia Hatchell's team is moving on as she accepts the Bob Bradley Award for spirit and courage. She deserves it. And this is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.